S. So, so S can be another finite automata with Q S as the starting state and F S as the finishing state. So, what will be my R plus S? R plus S can be represented like this. So, I have a single starting state Q R plus S suppose. Okay. From there, either I can make an empty transition to QR or I can make an empty transition to QS. Okay. From there, once I reach QR or QS, I can always follow the at or respective automata to either reach at FR or FS. Okay. Now, from FR, I can always make an empty transition to what I call as the final accepting state that is f of r plus s. Similarly, from f s also I can make an empty transition to reach at the final accepting state of r plus s. Understood? So, given two automatas that represents the regular expression r and s, I can always add four empty transitions, okay? create a new starting state and create a new final state. Okay? So, 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 FR will not remain as a final state in the, uh, the R plus S. Similarly, FS will not be the final state in the R plus S. Understood? So, in R plus S, in R plus S, the final state is F of R plus S and my starting state is Q of R plus S. Okay? Hello? Okay. So, any, uh, so, so now let us see what will be my, let me write it here only or, or shall I take a new, let me take a new face, that will be good. Face uh, color black. Okay. So, what will be S? dot t. So, suppose s is a regular expression and t is another regular expression. I have already told you s dot t means the language made up of by concatenating L of s with L of t. Okay. So, let, uh, let uh, in a similar fashion, suppose I say that this is my finite automata for s. Okay. It has a starting state which is Q S and it has a final state that is Q T. I have another automata for A, so, sorry, it is F S. Okay. Similarly, I have a for T, I have Q T and F T. Now, what I am doing, I am concatenating. That means after reaching F S, okay. I should not stop there. I should begin the transition function okay? and I should go to Qt, the starting state of T. Understood? And then I should, I should reach at uh, Ft to accept a language. Okay? So, to accept S dot T, the epsilon NFA will have starting state as Q of S and finishing state as F of T and there is a single empty transition we inserted okay, between F of S and Q of T. Okay? So, so this, these things will be helpful in, suppose in the exam it comes, create a epsilon NFA from the regular expression. Okay, we will see it shortly. So, the third thing is my epsilon closure because this is the regular expression definition. So, third thing is suppose S of star. Okay, S of star. So, if S is a regular expression and we have a finite automata for it. Okay, so, so this is my Q of S, 
this is my starting state this is my final state that is f of s okay then what is s star means it is zero or more occurrences of s okay that means i can have a state like here suppose on one traversal of s i reach here then suppose suppose uh, what i'm saying is suppose a b b okay so after consuming a b b it reaches the final state f s but star means it can have two occurrences that means a b b a b b okay that means what it should do so so it should make an empty transition to this state understood so i remove the final state of the automata for s regular expression s so suppose after consuming the single word abb i was reaching at fs now what i am doing i am just uh, doing an here yeah. okay 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 so what i am saying is suppose s represents a a single let a single word suppose a okay suppose s is a okay now what is s star will be s star can be empty or a or a a or a a a like this way so my dfa my epsilon nfa was earlier for s is equal to a okay so for s is equal to a how it will look like it will look like q0 with a you go to qf okay but now i have to accept not only a but empty epsilon i have to accept a i have to accept a a a like this way okay so how this will be possible this will be possible if i prepend the starting state with another state suppose q of s star i prepend it and this will be my final state in order to accept epsilon in order to accept epsilon q s star will be the starting state as well as the final state and after moving from after doing suppose after consuming a suppose i encounter a a then what i should do i should do an empty transition back to this understood because because in order to consume a i have to, how i should proceed from qf i should again go back to qs star then then i should understood from qs star the hello is it audible okay okay so so what you could not understand can, can you please tell me so that i can continue from there okay q so so qf to qs star i need a trans first of all i created qs star as a final state because i need to accept epsilon understood okay. now from qf to qs star i need an empty transition because suppose after consuming a i should accept this string a then i should go back to qs star because i have only single finite final state i have removed this qf as the final state of the new df new epsilon